What is up YouTube? I'm the Gacha Greaser and welcome to another episode of the Gacha Greaser Reviews. By popular demand, it seems that I'll only be making English videos from now on. So let me know if you want to change guys. Alright, let's have a look at an unorthodox for me today. Brewed by O Daddy, Daddy Sharil if you don't know. Let's have a look at The Shadow. Oh, daddy has been brewing pomades for quite a while now. Uh, I reviewed a, an oil base that he made some time ago on, on PMM. Uh, there, was an, there was an unorthodox that he made at time too, but I unfortunately didn't have a chance to try that one. I'm pretty glad I got this one though. Yeah. Thanks bro. Some good stuff in here. Alright, let's have a look at the packaging first. Right, amber glass jar, 100 grams, black metal lid, there's a sticker on the lid. In case you guys want your money's worth, there you go. <laughs> uh, there's a, This label is printed on a clear sticker, which I've heard is a bitch to put on. But, Cheryl did a good job on this one. I don't see any flaws with it. Um, a white logo is a white print on the label. And not too, not too badly designed. A shadow, a sun on it. Some application directions here and the ingredients. There's there's a lot of ingredients in this one. Um, one of the, uh, most I've ever seen. Um, there's the usual, of course, there's, there's water, beeswax, micro wax, palm wax, canaba wax, coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, lanolin, hydrogenated castor oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, borax, soy lecithin, essential oils, fragrance oil, black oxide. Black oxide, you'll see what it does in a second, and preservatives. So there's some really good stuff in here, like the shea butter. And it, I've heard that it conditions the hair, so I think it's quite expensive too. And the black oxide, all right, let's have a look in the inside. It is a grayish pomade, that's what the black oxide does. As far as I know, it makes things black. I'm not too sure if it does anything for your hair, but yeah, it, it adds color to it. Um, it's a grayish looking uh, pomade, very smooth, uh, when I got it brand new, it looked really clean, um, very well poured I must say. The scent I got is the Funky Berry. I'm not a big fan of fruity stuff, but this one, I'll accept this one. <laughs> it's a soft, I, I think it's more of a grape though, I think more of a grape scent to it. Well, not too bad, S straight up fruity, but um, not as sharp or tart as a as a, one of those gel type fruity stuff, you know. Pretty soft. Well, it's strong, but it's a, a, a mellow, mellow, soothing smell to it. Not too bad. Yeah. All right. Let's see it scooping. All right. It scoops out. Nice and smooth, just the way it looks. Yeah, nice size dollop there. No slivers of wax or anything, just a smooth scoop of pomade. It goes in the hand and breaks down like nothing. Turns a pasty white. You, with some pomades which has borax, you tend to get some uh, sandy bits in your hand. None at all with the shadow. So I must say it's well brewed. Goes in the goes in damp hair very smoothly. Dry hair, it the directions on the side there does say uh, dry hair for a stronger hold, uh, damper hair for a higher shine, which yeah, pretty accurate. Also says on the label that uh, it's a firm to heavy hold. And that is subjective, I think, um, based on. The brewer's hair himself, I guess. Shamil has a uh, pretty long uh, hair, so and it's uh, it looks uh, pretty soft. So I would say the firm to heavy is based on what he tried. What I've got is a firm bordering on medium. Yeah, uh, it's not as firm as uh, Prestige. I think it's. Slightly lighter, but well made all the same. 
imagine a uh, the original putih the the first edition of putih by hafiz rahman if you tried it uh, imagine a version of that but firmer that's what i'd go for Three scoops and application is done. Now, well, the first time I tried it, I was blown away by how the comb glides through the hair. Very slick, very smooth. I think that's from all the good stuff in it, like the shea butter, mango butter was it? Yeah. No, cocoa butter. Yeah, those butters really, really feels good in the brew. You still get a nice tight hole. Surprisingly enough, because I mentioned that it was um, firm bordering on the medium but it's a nice sticky blend which holds the hairs all together nicely Styling done, I'd say. And right now my hair is slightly up on the longer side. I need a trim. So some pomades, which is not just right, I'll have a lot of trouble styling when it's too long. But not with the shadow. I as you can see, I styled in maybe just a minute and it looks pretty good. Right, let's have a look. Okay, there you go, sides nice and tight, bob nice and round, and the shine, as you can see, is pretty high. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a nice, uh, like I said, there's a nice slickness to it and stickiness at the same time. Holding everything all nicely together. There you go. The endurance of it, uh, I would say, sometimes unorthodox water based uh, pomades have the tendency to stiffen up after, after, after a while. But with the shadow, what I got was that it Touching it a couple of hours after after application and styling, it it felt damp and and there was movement to it. Funny thing enough, it, everything was still slicked back nicely, tight sides nice and tight. Like I said some before, I do get puffy sides when things don't hold well, but this was nice and tight to the scalp. Very good. Uh, the Washability of it, that might be not everyone's cup of tea because I found that sh shampooing it twice didn't really remove everything. So I'm not a big fan of build up on unorthodox water based pomades. But yeah, so uh, you might need a, a mild degrease to completely remove it if, 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 you, if you want that. Yeah, like, um, you know, the conditioner and, and in dry hair kind of thing. Yeah, you might have to do that to have completely clean hair after, after a day's use. Yeah, I tried shampooing it up twice and there was still a residue left in it. It was quite the standard for unorthodox water base when it just started to have a build-up. 
But nowadays you get a lot of unorthodox which totally wash out in a shampoo. So this harkens back to maybe the earlier versions of it. Not that it's a bad thing. Some people ca could use the build-up from an unorthodox. It's just me. No, I don't care much for it. Scent stays with you the whole day. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm not a big fan of fruity stuff, but yeah, I'll take this one because the performance is top notch, I would say. Yeah, I am very impressed by the shadow, a daddy shadow. If you ever make another scent, let me know. I'll get right on that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review of the shadow and drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. You know what to do. <laughs> Till the next review. Gotcha Greaser, we'll see you again. Ciao.